What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about where you can find all the data quests in Bardenfeld and Clockwork City. Of course, the upcoming tribunal event starts this week, February the 25th, and runs until March the 9th. And if you're newer to the game, if you have not spent a lot of time in both of these areas, there are a couple dailies that are not exactly just kind of out in the open where you can find them easily. So some people may not have may not have found these yet or may not even know they exist. So I'm going to kind of go over all the dailies that you can uh, get between both of these uh, areas. That way you can take full advantage of the tribunal event. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my uh, Twitter, and of course, the new affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. My affiliate link is listed down there in the description below, along with a 5% off discount. So give them a look. I would really appreciate it. Uh, of course, guys, I'm going to link some uh, different style quests you can get. You know, all these kind of just cycle out day in and day out between both of these areas. So I'm going to list all the quests you kind of can expect to see down in the description if you'd like to look over those as well. But first of all, let's start here in Vardenfell. Of course, you can see the stairs going up to Vivek's uh, kind of pl uh, palace where he is located. If you come down these stairs, as soon as you kind of start the, you know, Vardenfell you know, main storyline. You don't have to be very far into it at all. You can come down these stairs and you will see this wanted poster here on the wall. This wanted poster here will have a quest on it. Once you pick up that quest, it will unlock two dailies over here in the Halls of Justice. Like I said, you don't have to be very far into the story for those to unlock. Once you are here, of course, you can kind of see where these two daily quest givers are located. One to the left right here and one to the right behind the desk. Now, that's not all. A lot of people are thinking that, you know, this is all that it is offered here in Vardenfell. But the other daily quest that is available, or actually the other two, are up here in a different area. So, you can see we're going to go kind of up here to this area right here. Beside the uh, Old Run Way Shrine, there's a little camp here called Old Run. There will be a quest giver here. Now, you will have to do the quest to be able to unlock the dailies. So... The two the quests that you will see available is Ashlander Relations and Ancestral Ties. They won't take that long to complete, but once you have finished them, you will be sent up to this area here to this other camp. It will kind of give you a quest to turn back in, and you will be sent back down here to Ald Run, and you will be able to uh, turn in that quest, and you will have two more dailies available there. So to begin with, like I said, you're only going to have these two available down here in Vivek City uh, itself uh, in the Halls of Justice, but once you come up here and complete this kind of side quest, this little side story part, you will be able to have four daily quests here in Vardenfell in total. So make sure that you have all four of these unlocked. Now when it comes to Clockwork City, we'll travel over there and I'll show you guys exactly what you need to know about Clockwork City as well. Alright, now that we're here in Clockwork City, there are four daily quests available here as well. And everyone may not quite understand how to get them. When you first start, you're going to see that there's going to be two available in this area. There's only going to be two. To get the other one, the Black Feather Quest, you will have to complete the zone story. And once that zone story is completed, you can then get a daily quest from the Crow, which you can see is located right here. So you will have to complete the zone story, you'll have to be completely done with that. And then the Black Feather quest will be available. And you can get a daily quest from the Crow as well. So you'll have three available at that point. Then the next thing you need to do for the fourth daily quest is go complete both of the Delves here in uh, Clockwork City. So Halls of Regulation and, of course, the Shadow Cleft. As all Delves, or all Delves, excuse me, kind of go in this game, there is a kind of story once you get here, you know, there's a little quest you have to do in every delve. You've probably seen it in all the different worlds in the game. But what you're going to do here is, of course, go to Hall's Regulation and to the Shadow Cleft and complete both of the sto delve story quests. Once those are completed, you will then get the uh, extra quest, which, of course, is going to give you that delve daily. And then you will see we will have four daily quests pop up. So you'll have one here, one here, and the two inside uh, this area right here. But like I said, when you first get here, there will be two uh, daily quests available. Just don't be fooled. Those are not the only two that you can do. So just be sure that you're doing or getting everything unlocked to have all four completed. Like I said, if you want the quest from the Crow, you're going to have to make sure that you have the zone story completed in Clockwork City. And if you want the Delve quest, you'll have to make sure you have both Delve quests completed 
here in clock, uh, in clock Park City. Anyway, guys, hope this helped you out. Hope it gave you a little bit of information so you know exactly how to you know get the most out of the upcoming tribunal event. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.